I meant to have recorded this video over a weekend, it's something I've been wanting to do, but I don't got myself a mouth ulcer, you know, just not had me in the mood to even make a video, talking hurts. We're here right now, so let's get right into it, motherfuckers. First of all, if you don't know who the locale podcast is, the clue's in the name. Keemstar have a smart idea of taking most famous locales and throwing them into a podcast together where they can fight between themselves, face the music for whatever controversy they're in at the time, and basically anything in between if you get my point. Like I said, Keemstar created this whole thing. He's the boss, whatever. The cows are Boogie 988, Wings of Redemption, and Tommy C. Now, originally they had Dark Side Phil, but he got rid of him pretty much right away because he's a useless cunt, and now you've got Tommy C to sort of replace him. I believe Tommy was more of a host at first, and he still kind of acts like he is, but make no mistake, he's here to be a cow. And then you got your quote unquote farmers who are here to milk them cows and confront them over whatever, usually Mooter or Turkey Tom. Destiny also comes on at the show time to time, but let's be honest, if Destiny was a few stones heavier, he could quite easily be the next locale. That being said, Destiny plays a huge part in this story. He did a little something something, like, oh, I don't know, you know, uh, exposing Boogie for faking cancer. Yes, that is what we're facing today. If you thought Boogie couldn't sink any lower, he's now faking cancer, and he has been for the past two years, sort of. See, the crazy thing is, he still could have cancer. That's a possibility, and he's not lying when he says he's unwell. But his doctor diagnosed him with polyphemia. Not polyphemia there, which Boogie claimed to have. Boogie admitted his doctor never even mentioned cancer, but Boogie decided to rush to the internet, uh, freak the hell out, he claimed that he had it, but again, he still could, and they're testing him for that. That's what makes this whole conversation a little tricky. Obviously, Destiny is the one who exposes him in the first place, but I don't get how he's going to act like the morally supreme when he's as big as a piece of shit in anyone, and that shit he said about Trump is wild. Now, Moot has also been on it since the beginning, basically, just grilling Boogie, trying to get him to confess, but I like Moot, he's cool. But he is the mad thing. Boogie at any point could have avoided this whole thing. He already deactivated his Twitter and at any point he could sign off the internet and just live out his life. But he can't. He can't even last a day without the internet. So yeah, he's near now, looking like a dickhead. He's done all this to himself. He will even act like a dog just for forgiveness. He claims it's for forgiveness, but really, I think this is all for attention. And he will admit this himself time to time. He craves attention, he craves sympathy, he's done all of this to himself, and now he's getting just walked all over, reading out these super chats that are just brutalising him, and acting like a dog for Keemstar, which, are you really going to act like a dog and get on all fours for another man? Are you really going to do that? The first three quarters of this live stream is doing good, and he's actually apologising, and he's actually acting like an adult. He's actually taking accountability for what he's done, he confesses that stuff he was saying before are completely untrue, which he hadn't even fully done up until that point, and then Destiny comes in. And Destiny, I would almost say he ruins it, but at the same time, you know, Boogie did this to himself yet again. He starts arguing with Destiny over some dumb stuff, and before you know it, Destiny tells Boogie to cut himself. Boogie, being the attention whore that he is, runs off. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> he doesn't really run, I don't think he's capable of that, but he walks off <laughs> and he grabs a knife and he threatens to slit his wrist on camera, on stream, and of course Keemstar's no choice, he has to close the stream down, boogie, that was manipulation right there fam. And by the way, I've got to say, earlier on in the podcast, Keem said that he had made the decision to fire boogie. I highly doubt it, but that's what was said. So I've got a few things to say about this whole thing, first of all, fuck you Destiny. You do nothing but fucking sit inside your house all day, you've never been in the real world, and if you spent one day in the real world, you would get your ass kicked for where you speak to people online, but then again, I don't think you would speak to people in real life for where you speak to people online, I don't see it, fam. Secondly, Boogie, I believe you're mentally ill. I believe you. I actually have a little bit of sympathy there, and I know I shouldn't, but I can't lie, I do. But with that being said, still fuck you. You don't lie about cancer, you dog. You don't manipulate people like that. And you know what? You are lucky that you are living in some little safe-ass little community because I guarantee you, if you lived out in the real world, much like I said to Destiny, you would get chased out of your community because you can't fake things like that. And I want to like you, man. I used to love your shit way back when. Uh, with Francis and Jesse and even yourself, man. But somewhere along the line, you became more unhinged. You became a degenerate. I don't know if it's the abuse you went through as a child or what. And if it is, I totally sympathize with that. But it's still that excuse this madness. And here's the thing. I don't even think you're evil. Like, everyone's out here calling you evil. Everyone's saying that you're the worst human ever. But I don't even believe that a little bit. 
I don't think you're evil. I just think you're fucking stupid, man. I mean, holy shit. You've been doing the internet long enough. How the hell did you think this is going to have some fucking consequences, fam? You know, you may be the dumbest motherfucking low car there is. You make wings look fucking good. Holy fuck, man. If you're going to hustle, hustle. But, man, you got to be smart with it. And faking cancer ain't never going to work. And you cannot for one second sit there and think that you don't deserve what's coming because they have every right to be mad at you. Boogie, I sincerely hope that you change because I want to like you again, but holy shit, you have gone past the point of locale. You're just a damn degenerate. But the thing is, at any point you could apologise, and I mean sincerely apologise, right? And as long as you don't fuck up again, which can't be that difficult, come on, maybe for you. But if you don't do shit like this again, if you quit over degeneracy, I actually think, think people will be behind you. People want to like you. I know there's trolls out there and shit, but a lot of people want to like you. But you've actually got to make a change. You can't just apologise for the sixth moment of time. You've got to make a change. But it is what it is, man. I live for this kind of content. I can't lie. Whether it's trash TV or trash YouTube, I love to consume that kind of stuff. I don't know what it is. But that's everything i got to say on this matter. Hope I ain't up in anyone's feels too much, but it is what it is, as Anthony Joshua would say. It is what it is. <laughs> Have it.